very good morning to you all. I'm Mrs. Mitali Singh and I'm here to make the learning of science simple, interesting and enjoyable for you all. So first I would like to talk about myself briefly. I have done my masters in chemistry and, and, and I have also done my bachelors of education. Now what made me opt for science for my higher education? Well the answer is very simple. Science is related to real, real life situations and that makes it very interesting. Also, it could satisfy my curious mind when I was a student like you all. I'm also a nature lover. So science kept me connected with nature as well. So all these things together make science a very fascinating subject. I'm also a very passionate teacher. I love to interact with my students on a daily basis and that is why I have in this field for I have been in this field for around 10 years now. Now what motivates me to be a teacher? Well, the fact that as a facilitator of learning, I am not just imparting knowledge to my students, but also I am a part of the learning process. I get to learn a lot from my students as well. It also gives me the opportunity to instill values in my children and it gives me a sense of achievement and pride to see my children doing very well in their studies academically and also grow and develop as good human beings and individuals. Now coming to real life situations. Did we all have breakfast today? I'm sure your mother must have ensured that you have your breakfast in the morning before your classes. So why do we need to have food? Well, we need to have food so that we get energy to do our work. So all living beings require food for energy. All living things as in plants and animals. Now we as animals, we get our food from plant products and animal products. But what about plants? From where do they get their food? So it will be very interesting for you all to know that plants are the only living things that can manufacture their own food. How do they manufacture their own food? So today we will be learning about the process of how plants make their food and the process is called photosynthesis. So today's topic of discussion is photosynthesis. The subject is science for grade 7 students. Now what does the word photosynthesis mean? So if we split the word into two, photo means light and synthesis to make. So the making of food in the presence of light is the meaning of the word photosynthesis. Now the next question is where do plants make the food? Like in our homes we have a kitchen where the food is prepared. Now what about plants? Do they have a particular place where they make the food? Yes. Plants also have a kitchen and the kitchen of the plants are the leaves of the plant or we can also say it is the food factory of the plants. That is where they make their food. Now the next question is that do they require raw materials? Like if we have to make some food, for example, we have to make aluka paratha, we require raw materials, we require the potatoes, we require the atta and we require the fire to cook. So plants also require raw materials? Yes, they also do. So what are the raw materials that the plants require to manufacture their own food? So the first raw material required is water. So where do they get the water? They get water from the soil. So water from the soil is absorbed by the roots of the plants and it, through the stems it is distributed to all the parts of the plant including the leaves of the plant. Second raw material required is carbon dioxide. Now carbon dioxide is present in the air around us so carbon dioxide enters the leaves through small holes called stomata. So the leaves of the plant have got small holes of them on them called stomata. It is not visible through our naked eyes but it is there small openings, they, uh, uh, small openings called stomata which they open and close and carbon dioxide enters the leaves of the plant through this openings called stomata. Now next have you ever wondered why the plants are green in color. Well, 
The leaves of the plant are green in color because they have a structure inside the cell called chloroplast. Now these chloroplasts have got a pigment called chlorophyll. This chlorophyll gives, this pigment chlorophyll gives the green color to the leaves. Now this chlorophyll plays a very important role in the process of photosynthesis. Another very important requirement for photosynthesis is light, primarily in the form of sunlight. So now we will see how all these raw materials combine to form food in the plants or in the leaves of the plants. So as you can see from here, the carbon dioxide and water combine in the leaves of the plant in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll of the leaves to form glucose. It is also known as sugar. So this glucose is the food of the plant. Now, as a byproduct, oxygen and water is also formed and it is released back into the air. So, a short recap of how photosynthesis happens. In the leaves of the plant, carbon dioxide and water combine in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll in the leaves to produce glucose or food of the plants. And the byproducts, oxygen and water, is released back into the air. So I hope you all enjoyed this short demo on photosynthesis. Hoping to see you all again. Till then, goodbye, take care and thank you so much.